This is a tough race for the Republican challenger, Paul Schumacher. Democratic incumbent Gladys Robinson has held this seat for a dozen years, and the new map doesn't hurt her chances at all. How do you like your chances in the race? Well, <laughs> uh, it'd be a miracle. <laughs> it'd be a miracle. I don't know if I've ever heard a candidate say that, but okay. The odds against him are not lost on Paul Schumacher. Democrats outvoted Republicans in this district by a three to one margin in the 2020 presidential election. I don't know why he's in the race, except their goal is to make me have to raise money, spend money, uh, that kind of thing. It, it's, it's just, uh, you know, senseless to me. What is it that Ms. Robinson has either done or not done that you want to fix? The Build Back Better plan, which uh, is basically uh, not a plan, but it's just spending the money. Mr. Schumacher didn't identify any state-funded programs that he would cut to reduce spending. Do you support school choice? Uh, almost definitely. Uh, mo not only school choice, but uh, school partnerships. Uh, private schools should partner with uh, public schools and have an interplay between uh, the students and teachers uh, in order to bring up the level of all of them. Robinson says she wavers on charter schools, but strongly opposes vouchers for private education. She also says that the courts, not the legislature, should make the final call on Leandro, the never-ending legal fight over school funding in North Carolina. Uh, the legislature had an excellent opportunity this year with all of the resources we got to really completely fund Leandro and look at specific needs, and, and it failed. It failed. It just absolutely refused to fund it. Do you support abortion or not? I do not support abortion. Schumacher says he's pro-life, but wants voters to decide the abortion issue for themselves. I'm going to leave it up to a referendum of the people, and they can vote however they want to vote. Nobody has a right to tell a woman what to do with her body. We don't tell men what to do. I'd like to sometimes, but <laughs> we don't tell men. But nobody has a right to make a decision for a woman. Do you support Medicaid expansion in North Carolina? I do not uh, support Medicaid expansion. And the reason for that, I believe, is uh, um, you are a better choice of how you should spend your money. And the government taxing and saying, OK, we're going to give you something, they're not giving you anything. Robinson has tried to expand Medicaid coverage for a decade without success. There is no reason not except politics. And, and that's when politics gets really ugly. When people use their own political persuasion to say, I'm just not going to do it. Doesn't matter who it affects. And that's what they are doing. If you were in office, how would you vote on sports betting in North Carolina? Um, I think some of those things should be left to the people. I just could put it on the ballot. Why not? A, re a referendum? Yeah, put it on the ballot. If you want to have sports betting, you vote for it. Do you personally favor sports betting? Uh, I'm not a better. I don't care. And I'm wavering. I, I waver. I mean, I may. Uh, I didn't vote for it last time. That's right. I did not vote for it last time. Robinson says she likes the revenue gambling offers, but not the problems that come with it. But we have to really make sure that populations of people are not targeted. You support it, though? Well, I said I'm wavering. Concealed carry in North Carolina is under fire, perhaps removing the need for the, the permit. Would you support that? Yeah, I, I do, actually. I think a constitutional carry is basically you have a right to protect yourself, and no one else needs to be involved in that decision. What is your concern with the concealed carry permit? Well, I, I am concerned with um, the whole issue of what we don't do with gun legislation, the fact that uh, people don't want background checks, criminal record checks, you know, going in. We need to, to keep that. Guilford County voters will have to decide that they want to stay with Robinson or make a change and choose Schumacher. I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.